Hi kids, I'm Miss Bethany. I'm Miss Kristen. And I'm Miss Kendall. And this is our friend the Band-Aid Chicken. Howdy kids! Today we're gonna be reading a story. And what is that story about the Band-Aid Chicken? Well that story is my story of a time that I stood up for my friend and showed kindness. And uh, by the end of this lesson, we were hoping that y'all would learn, y'all would be able to identify three of the five ways of methods of being kind to your friends that we're going to describe in the lesson. We're also going to talk a little bit about whether you think um, the Band-Aid Chicken was right or wrong in what she did. And also, we're going to learn how to, you're going to be able to implement those kindness, acts of kindness in meeting and interacting with your friends. So let's get started. This is the Band-Aid Chicken by Becky Hinton. I love this sport. <laughs> How many of you have ever been picked on? Did you know that there is a pecking order among chickens? If a new chicken is brought into a group, the other chickens will peck on the new chicken to show it who is in charge. This can hurt or even kill the new chicken. This story is about a brave chicken who wanted the pecking to stop. Once upon a time, Farmer John's farm there lived 17 chickens. All of the chickens got along with each other. They were very happy to be living together. One day, Farmer John put a new little chicken inside the fence. This chicken did not have a family and she was hoping to make some friends soon. But before she could say hi, all of the other chickens started pecking on her head. Farmer John saw the new chicken's head. It was bruised and cut. Farmer John covered the sores with band-aids and said, I think I'll call you the band-aid chicken. Band-aid chicken, how did being picked on make you feel? Well, Kendall, it made me feel really sad and I was very lonely and it hurt my feelings a lot. By the next day, the band-aid chicken's head did not hurt so much, but her heart did. She was so sad that the other chickens would not even give her a chance to get to know them. Soon, the other chickens told the Band-Aid chicken that she had passed their test. That meant that she could now be the first one to peck on any new chicken who came into their yard. Students, do you think the Band-Aid chicken should pick on the new chickens? No. No way. No. no. It'll hurt the other chickens. Exactly. Before many days had passed, Farmer John put another new chicken into the yard. It was time for the Band-Aid chicken to peck on the new chicken, but the Band-Aid chicken remembered how badly she had been hurt. She stood in front of the frightened new chicken, looked right into the eyes of the other chickens, and loudly said, no. I want this pecking to stop with me, said the Band-Aid chicken. I remember how bad I felt when you did it to me and how much it hurt my head and my heart. No, I won't do it. The other chickens were surprised, but when they saw the band-aid chicken meant what she said, they stopped pecking too. The new chickens were very happy. In fact, all of the chickens became a lot happier after the pecking stopped. All of the chickens knew it took courage to change what had been happening. They looked up to the band-aid chicken and respected her for her courage and bravery. So students, are you going to do what everybody else does? Or are you going to be like the Band-Aid Chicken who had the courage to stop bad behavior and who helped make the world a better place? Band-Aid Chicken, why did you stop the other chickens from picking on the new ones? Well, I remembered just how much it hurt my feelings when they picked on me. And I wanted it to stop there because I wanted to show kindness to my new friend. Uh, there are some other ways to show kindness, right Kendall? That's right, Band-Aid Chicken. Um, and we've written down some five ideas that you could try. Um, the first one is to use nice words. Can any of y'all give me an example of how you can use nice words to your friends? Say please and thank you. That's right. Yeah, That's a great idea. Number two, help each other. Bandy Chicken, what's an example of that? Well, I always share my corn with the other chickens when they're hungry. Does that count? That does count. That's so sweet. Very good, Band-Aid Chicken. Number three, treat others how you would want to be treated. Do y'all have any ideas of how you could do that? Sharing your toys. Sharing toys, yes. That's great. That's a good one. That is a good one. Number four, give compliments. Band-Aid Chicken. You look very beautiful today. Oh, 
<laughs> Thank you, baby. She was nice. <laughs> and number five, be friendly to everyone with no exceptions. Now what we're going to do is, students, we're going to have you get with a partner and explain really quick why you think it was right or wrong for the Band-Aid chicken to stand up to all the other chickens. It, I was right. <laughs> Do y'all have any answers for? Yeah, does anyone want to share? Um, well, the band aid chicken could have made other people feel welcome. Cynthia stood up, so it was a good idea. Mm -hmm. Very good. Very good. Thank, Thank you. you. All right, so now let's see if we can remember those five things on how to be kindness. You're also going to stay with your partner and create a list of three, at least three, of the five ways we talked about for how to show kindness. <laughs> No exceptions. All right, great. What what were some of the ways that y'all remembered and came up with? Oh, oh, we said use nice words. Oh, Very good. That good job. That is we said thing. treat others how you would want to be treated. Do you remember any of the examples, or do you have any new examples? We said when you use nice words, you should say things like please and thank you. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, definitely. That's really good. I always say please. That's that's really good. Yes. Yep. That, that shows great. really right. good manners, Bandit yep. Chicken. I have good manners. All right. So now that we've learned about how to be kind, let's try it. In a second, everyone will stand up and grab a different partner that you haven't worked with yet and act like you're meeting a new friend. And when you introduce yourself and meet this new person, we want you to use some of the five ways of being kind when you meet this new person to show that you have kindness. So, ready, go. Hi. Hi. Thanks, Madison. You have gray hair. Thanks. <laughs> my name is Bree, and your teeth are <laughs> Oh my gosh, thank you. Would you like a toy? I would love a toy. Would you like a toy? <laughs> thank you. Very good. Yeah, sharing and being kind and complimenting and using nice words. Great job, you guys. Good job, everyone. So now that we've learned about kindness and some ways that we can be kind, let's put it into practice and make this classroom a happier place. Thanks for listening, kids. Bye. 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 Bye.